Next up is our uh, our spotlight presentation, and today we're uh, happy to have uh, Mike Yavali, uh, Regional Director of ESD's Capital Region, to present on the Capital Region area. Michael. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Hope, directors, again, thank you. Um, colleagues, um, happy to be here. Um, I actually looked, uh, the last time I made this presentation was seven years ago at the July meeting, so um, it's, it's interesting to be back. But we like to um, bring you down in July. <laughs> I visited my friend at Howard Beach, too. I took the train, and from there it was a, it was, it was a very interesting uh, morning so far. So, um, so, uh, um, so I don't get a text from Kevin that I'm running too long. I'm going to uh, uh, make sure I move very quickly. So um, I have four, four sections. I want to give you a quick profile. We're going to talk a little bit about REDC strategy. We're going to talk about projects, and then I'm going to talk about our team at the Capital Region. So... Um, of course, I pulled out some selected facts um, to, to highlight about the region, but one of the things we're really, really excited about is the fact that our region has been growing, and that hasn't always been the case. So, um, you know, if you just look at some of these facts, um, uh, one, thanks to our friends at U.S. News and World Reports, uh, we rank as one of the best places to live in New York State. We're one of two regions to grow population. We're the number one region in state of receiving uh, domestic migration. Um, and uh, we have the fastest growing county, Green County, and the, uh, also the county, Saratoga County, with the largest population gain. So um, I think a lot of that, um, you know, post-pandemic had a little bit of an effect that like we've seen in the, in the Mid-Hudson region as well as people were relocating out of the metro area. We're a region of diversity. Um, it, you know, eight counties that range from the north to south, from the Adirondack Park to the north, through the Hudson and Mohawk Valleys to the Catskill Park in the south. Um, so very diverse, um, uh, gonna read a few, few facts here uh, related to that. Uh, we are, again, one of the best places to live in New York State for, from US News and World Report. Uh, that same report put us at 21st best place to live in the US, 11th best place for millennials from Homebuyer Magazine, uh, eighth most affordable markets by income from Rocket Mortgage, 19th best place to raise a kid in the country from smart assets and 21 best cities for for gay couples so this diversity um you know is is really a part of the communities we have um uh, we, just a, a great quality of life throughout the region and many 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 options to live um i would be remiss because we have glens falls on the, on the the map there that you're enjoying uh a product from Glens Falls, Just Water. That water brand there is uh, bottled at its source at uh, wells in Glens Falls. And uh, actually, I shouldn't say bottled. It's a very sustainable organization. So uh, it's packaged in, in Glens Falls. So uh, there's a product right there for you. I didn't bring that. That's uh, That was here. Um, so uh, moving on a little bit about strategy in the REDCs. Um, we're really focused on R&D. Um, our main vision and, and goal is to you know, grow our economy, but specifically focusing on those clusters uh, that we have a, a strong base in commercialization of, of R&D assets. And uh, to name those, semiconductors, of course, is one, clean energy, software IT, digital gaming, life sciences, and, and, and R&D. And I'm just gonna take a moment to just highlight two of those. Uh, well, first, before I do that, I apologize. Just representative of some of those companies we have in in the region um, that that um, make up our our, our sectors um, and all leaders in their industry so um, we're very proud uh, for this select group that we have on this on this uh, slide but taking a look at semiconductors um, you know I, I would dare say the 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 you know, the industry sector really germinated out of the capital region out of Albany nanotech and U, and U Albany um, we you know 20 years ago, those numbers would be in the hundreds, if, if, if that, um, but you're now looking at over 9,000 jobs in the capital region alone related to semiconductor. Of course, of course, a lot of those are related to R&D um, and, and the work taking place also at um, Albany Nanotech. Um, but that sector has grown successfully. Uh, Global Foundries has grown, grown successfully and they have announced projects to continue to grow. So. Uh, as we see this industry grow across the state, we're very happy to see it continue to be very strong in the capital region. And also in R&D, there's a little duplication in those numbers. Some of those R&D jobs from Semiconductor, of course, are included in these numbers. But we have, you know, for a metro area of our size, just exponentially larger than most, 
uh, amount of R&D assets uh, and, and uh, projects. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the numbers, but you can just see the, the magnitude of that industry, again, for a region of our size. Um, as all our EDCs and, and really all regional office operates, not just about our core mission of economic development, creating jobs, uh, we were much more comprehensive. Just like ESD's uh, strategies, the four pillar strategies that we follow, each regional council has their own strategies. Ours are very similar. We focus, of course, workforce, gateway, having inland ports um, and having to, uh, good access to uh, to, to Canada and other areas, that's a big, big uh, focus for ours. Next tech, um, really just focusing, there's a catch-all to focus on any growing industry sectors that we have. And both Magnet and Core are really focused on community strategies and, and trying to diversify our communities and, and make sure we uplift those that need to be uplifted. Um, implementing that strategy through projects is very important. This is just a slide that kind of gives you an idea. These are. These are both uh, ESD and other significant priority projects through the Regional Council pro projects that have taken place since 2011. Um, so you can see we're very geography di di uh, diverse there and implementing our strategy. But it's not all about projects. Um, you know, again, strategy is important. Uh, during our work this year, looking at workforce development, we really identified a major issue in our healthcare industry and took it upon ourselves as a regional council to study this. Uh, we, we commissioned a report. Uh, that report has been completed. I suggest if anybody has this concerns across the state, please take a look at what we have here. I think we did a lot of work. We worked with 17 different healthcare uh, employers and training providers. Uh, we had a core group of the heads of all the hospital medical institutions as part of this. Um, and we really got to, 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 to brass tacks about what was going on because we had significant uh, issues. Um, if we're not able to take a transfer, uh, that transfer goes to Boston, that transfer goes to New York City, uh, the economic value doesn't stay in the region, um, and the hardship on the patient and the family is, is, is exponentially greater. So uh, workforce was a big issue in making that happen, and it's already starting to, uh, I think, uh, get better uh, statewide and nationally, but uh, there's a lot of good work here on trying to get people trained into that, into that uh, uh, workforce. Uh, moving on to some signature projects, um, I picked four projects that are both uh, an ESD pillar and also one of the ESD or one of the REDC strategies. Uh, first up, plug power expansion, uh, hydrogen fuel cell technology developer, uh, a long uh, growing startup company in the region. They, they, they came out of uh, GE. Um, you can see the governor and Hope in both of those pictures. I think the most important thing to note here on this is those pictures are less than a year apart. So they broke ground and they built a 350,000 square foot facility to, to make hydrogen fuel cells in less than one year. Wow. Yep. yep, and they're well on their way to create the 1,633 jobs. Um, and um, really to note about Plug Power, it's not just the capital region. They have assets across the state, particularly in the Finger Lakes, and they're continuing to grow and to continuing to have conversation with us in the strategic business division. Next up, Really, this is projects, offshore wind. It's, a, it's really an initiative. Of course, it's an initiative statewide, but in our region, because we are blessed with um, pretty substantial inland port facilities, we've become sort of the hotbed for um, uh, OME uh, development. Uh, the Port of Albany being the, the, the centerpiece of that uh, is well underway in developing a site. We have a $5 million CFA grant to help that. Plus they have, of course, uh, quite a bit of resources from NYSERDA. Um, and that 85-acre site is underway, and that'll be Equinor's um, uh, partners uh, with Marmon and Wellcon to build the towers, the actual towers for the offshore wind deployment. Uh, port of Queemans, uh, privately owned port, um, is just really continuing to grow. If you, if I wish I could point, but that's in the bottom, that larger building on the left-hand side of that picture, that was an ESD project for a barge repair facility in anticipation of the amount of barge traffic that's going to be going up and down the river and into the offshore deployment. Uh, uh, that, that as they take place. Mr. Chairman, I put this on here for you because I know you've asked me a couple times when I'm presenting how things are going in Schenectady and, and referencing the, the site. So uh, fantastic project. Um, uh, this was, this was a, a former uh, uh, Alco site, American locomotive site. They made locomotive engines. It was shuttered the year before I was born. 
And this project didn't take place probably eight years ago. So for most of my life, this was a brownfield, uh, you know, testimony to brownfields across the Northeast. So today it's a $600 million project, includes Rivers Casino, new residential opportunities with cond condominiums and apartments, multiple lodging op operations and op options, uh, retail dining uh, in the first floor, Class A office space, uh, Beekman 1882, a, a, a brand that you might be familiar with, operates out of there. Um, uh, you know, and they really, uh, they actually built that harbor that you see. That harbor was that was uh, that was dredged and and built to support um, to support the uh, uh, boat docks. The casino uh, did the dredging. And no, so the so the did? no a Gillespie group, okay. Gillespie's the developer. They did the Mohawk Harbor, they had a pad site that the casino then selected. So the casino, um, one, understand all of our incentives went for everything on that property but the casino. Right. Um, so you take, the casino is about $300 million, so it's about half of that total $600 million project, but our main ESD project, the Brownfield Tax Credit project, was based on that $300 million Mohawk Harbor piece, the mixed use piece. Right, and you had it on the other screen, uh, does, does GE still have a presence in Schenectady? Oh, absolutely. And, and, yeah, how sizable? I know it's sure. not what it was uh, 30, yep. 40 years ago, but yep. how sizable is it? So, so they have their GE Global Research headquarters is still in Niskayuna, where they do where they do their global research. Um, and uh, I, I don't have the numbers there, but I think they're over, they're around three thousand overall in the state. Most are in Schenectady. Great. And then there's still steam power generation. Uh, manufacturing taking place, and they just did an announcement for, um, uh, I'll call it onshore wind development. So they're going to be doing some onshore wind development in some of the facilities there. So that was one of the first, and uh, SBD uh, worked on that project. It was one of the first um, new projects they've announced in a while. So that was a real good shot in the arm for everybody in Schenectady. And then finally, on the workforce side of things, uh, BOCES, I think, hope you, yes, hope you were at that, you were at that ribbon cutting. Uh, $30 million project, just state-of-the-art uh, training center, uh, just there's just so much goes on there, um, you know, automotive, nursing, welding, um, just very, very focused on our local workforce needs and addressing the needs of, of folks that need to uplift themselves into new careers. So very successful project, and um, we're looking to do much more with our training providers um, to make sure we have that workforce we need. So... How do we do this? Well, this team, um, uh, we have a pretty dynamic regional office in Troy. Um, uh, Heidi, our deputy director, has just recently been, uh, been promoted. Uh, Joe and, and Heidi do most of the origination in the office. Of course, Devin keeps us all straight. We have one vacant position. Uh, but in addition to our own regional office staff, we house um, a, a number of other uh, folks, including a number of Brendan's people, uh, project managers. So the people below work statewide. Those project managers will manage projects, not just for our region, but for regions across the state. Catherine works for Global New York. She covers multiple regions in the Global New York program. And Ethan, um, Ethan does design construction work on mostly on major projects. He'll be out, you know, at the um, SUNY Poly, uh, I think he did um, uh, the Legoland, um, I'm sure he probably will be somewhat involved in Micron, that, that type of work. So it's great to have them with us, and it's great that they're with us because we, we real, it's good for the project managers to see projects from start to finish. They're very integrated in what we do um, and um, participate a lot more than just behind the computer. So it's really, I think, a great, a great asset for them to be part of the regional office. I just want to do a shout out. Linda, who, who retired, uh, is responsible for a lot of the success stories I just highlighted. So we, I just really wanted to highlight she retired this year after many, many years of service here and, uh, um, you know, just taught me a lot along the way. And it's been great to work with her and we're going to miss her dearly. And my final thank you is to Layla, our summer intern. We did this for the first time and we'll never go back again. She was fantastic. She helped do the layout of this presentation. She helped set us up for our social media. Um, we're going to be un unveiling some social media assets and she's just fantastic. So. Um, if anybody sees her when she's graduate, don't let her don't let her go. So, <laughs> and that's what I have. That's just a close out slide of what we do and and how we do it. Well, uh, Michael, uh, thank you. That was terrific and uh, um, really exciting to see 
everything that's going on. I, I, I've been to every county that you mentioned. Uh, I love that section of the state, and it's just so Thank you. cool that we are part. We have such a diverse state, and every region is neat, and it's always great to learn and get down into the weeds a little bit as to what's going on in the specific region. So uh, I, I know I always benefit from these uh, presentations, and I think I speak on behalf of the entire board. Uh, we all do. Um, so, um, and that's great. And I think um, what's, so, what's also cool is you have a relatively small team. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the same with most of the regional offices. Uh, and it's amazing how much work you get done. And so to your team and to all the staff in the regional offices where, you know, the feet and the boots are on the ground, uh, implementing a lot of the things that are sort of done through central um, you know, thank you, and uh, thank you to all the regional offices and the you know, employees there. Yeah, so great. Any uh, board members have any questions or comments for Michael? All right. Well, good job, thank and you. enjoy uh, downstate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>